Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.6 Beta 1 on my iPhone XR. Now, I know that I have got this update two days back and I haven't got the time to, you know, make a video on this. So, this video, we're going to talk about iOS 16.6 Beta 1 and I have got it installed on this iPhone XR. In this video, we're going to talk about new features and when you can expect possibly the next release of iOS. So, let's get right into the video and before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and the about section if i go to the about section you can see that ios version says ios 16.6 and if I tap on it, you can see that the iOS 16.6 beta 1, the new build number is 20G5026E. So the letter E at the end, it denotes that we are going to see a couple of more betas before we get to see the public release of iOS 16.6 if that's just a month away from now. So in this video, uh, let's talk about what's new. But before that, I just wanted to mention that I've heard that there is a new modem firmware included with this update. But unfortunately, with iPhone XR, you don't get a new modem firmware. I've mentioned this couple of times with my previous videos as well. So being an older device, iPhone XR doesn't usually get the you know new modem firmware updates. So if you're having any other devices like iPhone 14 or 14 Pro Max, definitely you will have a modem firmware upgrade uh, coming from iOS 16.5 RC to iOS 16.6 Beta 1. So there is no specific change with this update and even if you uh, look at this update screenshot, it says that this beta version of iOS 16.6 contains bug fixes and improvements. So at this point of time, there are no new features that Apple can bring uh, it to us on iOS 16. They are just working on some preparatory works of iOS 17 and what is coming with iOS 17, they are just in a preparation mode for that so for example if I go to the settings and uh, search with contact key verification this is a new feature that is going to come with iOS 17 this is not yet fully implemented but they have talked about this on their Apple website multiple times but if we just click it it is definitely going to be somewhere in the iCloud but you know it just takes me to the iCloud section of my iPhone as of now there are no instructions you know how to use it properly and you know if you use it through iMessage or some security purposes it it just doesn't work so looks like that Apple is actually in the background they're working with contact key verification and some of the new features that are upcoming with iOS 17 but at the moment they're not yet fully stable and doesn't work so that's what I can say apart Apart from that there are no new features what you can expect with iOS 16.6 at least with the beta 1 we might get to see small new changes here and there throughout the operating system as in when we get to see iOS 16.6 beta 2 or beta 3 but apart from that let's talk about a battery life a little bit so if I go to the battery and battery health and charging section you can see that the maximum capacity of this iPhone 10 R is 88% I'm not surprised that it has even not dropped for you no know, almost six months because I hardly use this device this has been sort of my secondary device and I just you know update this device and you know keep on installing beta do testing but in general day to day I don't use it so if that is visible from the screen on and screen off time as well and if I show you the last 10 days you can see that the average screen on time is 13 minutes and the screen off time is 10 minutes so definitely battery life as I said before when I was rigorously testing the iOS 16 beta updates with iPhone 10R the battery life is below average but definitely if you have a secondary device you are planning to install and planning to get the new features and new updates which will be released in future for the public then definitely you can try installing iOS 16 but specifically talking about this update there are no features at the moment that you can get with iOS 16.6 beta 1 so definitely I would not suggest you installing this iOS 16.6 beta 1 unless there's a good reason to update it so again if you are interested in Geekbench 5 scores as well I've ran it the single core score came in about 1107 and the multi core score came in about 2611 so if you were interested in Geekbench scores these are the scores for you let me know you know if you are using iPhone XR what are the Geekbench scores if you are using iOS 16 stable series of updates 
or if you're using iOS 16 beta series of updates. Many people have talked about and shown their uh, concern in terms of battery health. There are people in my community who you still uses an iPhone 10R and have been you know running iPhone 10R with iOS 15. So they asked me a lot that should I upgrade to iOS 16, iOS 16.6, iOS 16.5 or should I stay with iOS 15. So just to answer all their question at single shot I would say if you're happy with iOS 15 and then if your you don't feel the need for the new features or the new wallpapers then definitely you can stay with ios 15 and even apple provides the security updates at least for ios 15 at the moment so few days back we got ios 15.7.6 so make sure that you are at least upgrading to whatever updates you are getting to ios 15 if you are on ios 15 so then again that's it for this video this video was a quick one i just wanted to highlight that we have received ios 16.6 beta 1 and talking about the update i got it around 5.04 gb this was a huge install because before this i had rc installed on my iphone which was a part of stable series of updates so definitely you all know that whenever we go from stable series of updates to beta series of updates and vice versa definitely the operating system needs to be reinstalled on your iphone iPhone and that is the reason the update size was pretty large. So let me know in the comment section whether you are excited for iOS 17 because we are just few weeks away from you know uh, getting to see the first release of iOS 17 and I will definitely try to install this on my iPhone 10R being the oldest iPhone. Let's see how it goes with iPhone 10R. So then again that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. That gives me huge motivation you know for me to make such kind of videos on YouTube. And then again that's it and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye. Thank you.